Good morning, Lee Ankrum here. There's so much that can be said about the skull of your, you know, that can be said about the skull. But let's talk about this, is that when you go through that birth canal, sometimes mom has a really narrow pelvis or a pelvis that's like, say she was a gymnast, so her pelvis has had more happen to it, or she was a horseback rider, or she had a terrible fall or something like that. It, it actually creates a pelvis that doesn't feel like, oh, it can't really open as well in order to let the head through, or there's some kind of a forceps or something. And when that happens, there's many outcomes that can come when the head is squeezed. The head is supposed to get squeezed. I'm not saying that it's not, but it's not supposed to be squeezed so hard that it kind of stays in the squeezed position. But one of the big things, there are many things that are the outcomes, but one thing that often happens is a very narrow palate. It's either very, very high or it crowds. The future teeth are going to get crowded in the space when that's happening. That's why if you have a child with really crowded teeth or you have a child whose teeth don't come in, they come in late and they start to fall out late, those are all about tension and tension coming through on their birth. So thank you so much. Have a great day.